how a turbo works. So this is the turbo that came off of my Mini Coop, and it's pretty standard in how they all work. This section right here takes the hot air off of your manifold, your exhaust manifold. So all of those hot compressed gases that are going by go through and spin a turbine over here. Now that turbine is connected via a axle, rod, whatever, over to here where the quote unquote cold side of the air pump works. And what happens is it spins and it has turbines in here that hopefully you can see from there that then blow and it sucks cold air from your air intake over here and out over here. I may have that back, I do have that backwards. So you take the air, you suck it out and suck from one side, blow from the other based off of the drive that's coming off of the exhaust manifold. Then you've got a couple of other parts to a turbo. This is your wastegate control. And basically what it does is when a vacuum is attached to this, it opens and closes the wastegate. And the wastegate limits the amount of pressure that is going through your system. So it's basically a way to control how much boost you're getting at any given time. And this can be for a couple of reasons. One, because the turbo may be capable of delivering more boost than the engine is capable of receiving, or because you want to control the boost along the RPMs so that you don't get line hop or torque steer. You're delivering a smooth set of power as you want it. Now, what I'm going to end up doing is using an electronic boost controller so that I have more control over how this works. And so I can say, okay, for this number of RPMs, give me this boost, but the rest of the time, once I'm past that and no longer risking torque steer, give me full boost all the time, which is not the ideal race setup, but it makes the car feel a lot faster. So that's how I'm probably going to run it. But with a boost controller, you can control how that works. But it all boils down to taking hot gas, spinning a turbine to spin a different turbine that moves cold gas, and then putting on a regulating system so that you can control how much there is so that you don't blow the engine.